All right, guys, what's up? Chris here. Today, we're going to be talking about the Trek Roscoe 9, the brand new 2022 model. It has just came out, and it is an impressive machine. So we're going to go for a ride, and I'll show you some pictures and tell you some details about this pretty cool bike that they've came out with. If you've not seen the first video of this series, it will explain the geometry changes and some of the technical specs of all the Roscoe series. The changes have only happened on the 7, 8, and the new 9. The 6 is the same as the previous years. So what's cool about this is it is the new lightweight aluminum frame. It's going to be a little bit lighter than the previous years. But most importantly, they've paired it with a 140mm Fox Rhythm fork with 36mm stanchions, which is impressive. We're into the Fuel EX7 range there. Maybe even a little higher to get 36mm stanchions. Um, this is going to be a bike which is going to be able to really take on pretty much anything, all the downhills you could want. So don't be afraid to kind of hit anything with this bike. Essentially they've made a full suspension into a hardtail and that's going to make it for a very compelling bike for anyone just starting all the way up to anyone who just wants a fast but affordable bike. This does have a 1x12 on it as it should with an SLX shifter and XT derailleur and that is a great pairing so it's going to shift super fast super easy again this kind of setup is something you'd normally see on four plus thousand dollar mountain bikes so to get it on something around that three thousand dollar mark is pretty crazy next it's got the four piston brake setup on it which is crazy good as well you're going to be able to stop like nobody's business it has a 180 mil and a 200 mil rotor on it so you are honestly going to stop when you want to and it's going to be fantastic Cornering, descents, jumps, you're going to be able to control yourself really well with those force piston brakes and that combination of rotors. The 29 inch wheels have a 2.6 on both the front and rear and they come fully tubeless set up. So they don't come with tubes in them straight out of the box. The shop will set it up with tubeless fluid and that is something cool because that's a bit of an annoying thing you have to pay for after the fact. So the fact that it's all already done is just a nice little touch. The dropper post is cool. So depending what size bike you get, you get a different length dropper post. On the small frame, you're getting a 100 mil dropper post. On the medium frame, a 130 mil dropper post. And on the medium large, all the way up to the extra large, you're getting 150 mil travel, which is an impressive setup again to have a stock bike. It is just the standard 31.6 uh, mil seat tube, and it's just a Trans-X post, but that's still a nice little setup. The front chainring size on this one is a 32, so you're going to pair that with a 51 max on the back. Gives you this really wide range, honestly, potentially wider than you'd ever need, but it's something nice and something you can always change if you wanted. You can fit a 34 tooth on this one, which is something cool as well. Last thing is you can fit a 150mm fork on this, so it's going to be pretty impressive how beefy you can make this bike. And I'd assume you can probably fit a pretty beefy tire on it without hitting the 2.8, but it's something you're going to have to test out with. So the Trek Roscoe is set up as an enduro style trail bike. Essentially the way the whole kind of biking scene has been going, instead of making some sort of entry level hardtail, They've made something which is actually going to be competing in the kind of higher end space, which is really cool. It would be interesting for them to make some sort of carbon fiber version of this, although it's pushing the limits of where it should go. Um, it might actually be a really cool setup to see something super lightweight in this kind of range of bikes. So those Fox 36 on the front is going to be super aggressive and super able to handle anything you want. As well, it's going to be able to kind of take all the hits throughout it and the tires are going to absorb and roll over things really well even without rear suspension it's going to be super cool to see this bike and uh, yeah this bike is going to be an interesting bike and i think it's going to be very popular so i'd highly recommend you go check it out it does only come in one color that one color is really nice where it's kind of a sand faded to this green with these speckled black dots around it so it looks really cool it would have been nice if they had a second color but Although it's a higher price range, I do think they'll sell quite a few of them. And if it's anything like last year, it's going to be hard to get one. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. And yeah, we'll uh, see you on the next one. Good luck.
Yeah. It's like threading a needle. That's where just a slightly narrower bar. Yeah, I hate that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. And then last second, I'm like, I'm not, I'm no. Soft going out, yeah.